Are you tired of feeling less than confident during PMS and the menstrual phase? If so, you're not alone. There are ways to combat these effects. In this video, we'll learn the direct science behind these changes during PMS and the menstrual phase. I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step makeup and hair guide that directly opposes these changes and helps you feel confident and beautiful. Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra. I'm passionate about functional strategies for women that make you feel beautiful. Today, we're talking about PMS beauty strategies. There are three distinct changes during PMS affecting hair volume, skin elasticity, and facial symmetry. These changes are temporary, but if you notice something's off, it's not all in your head. Please rate and subscribe. The first change is the direction of the hair growing out of your scalp. It literally will grow upwards to the sky during ovulation, but in this premenstrual phase and during your period, it grows outwards, giving you a lot less volume. This is where things go wrong, because if you don't know this information, maybe you try a hairstyle that's meant to have a lot of volume and you're really let down when it doesn't look good. The second change you may notice is in your skin's elasticity. Because the estrogen is dropping, your skin can look less firm, and research suggests that women who are in this phase have less facial symmetry than they do during ovulation. This information is so key for women to know because it will shape and change the way you approach beauty in this time. For example, if you know you have less volume in your hair, why not go for a sleek hairstyle, something that's meant to have flat hair anyways. And if you're like me and facial asymmetry is more noticeable, maybe postpone taking a new profile pic. If you're a celebrity and you really want the photos to come out great when you're on the red carpet, stick to your signature style and don't try any new bold looks if your period's about to start. Restructuring the way you do your hair and makeup can make you feel a lot better while you're on your period and leading up to it because you're using the science and information to your advantage. Each of the items in this video are from YesStyle, an online website. This video is sponsored by YesStyle. Thank you for watching. I've really learned how important it is when you notice changes to your physical appearance, the way you feel. It's incredibly important to treat yourself with respect and love. Even as you are aware of your flaws, react to them with respect for yourself and do this with love. You'll often notice that there's an electrifying element of this, not always in a positive way where you're lit up by all of the negative feelings that you may have kind of suppressed during the month. We got this. Taking care of your health during this time is just as important as trying to keep up with life. Historically, in some societies, women during their period have had the opportunity, I guess, to spend time relaxing. Usually life goes on and we can't always relax entirely, but it's important to try where possible and less hardcore anything and more self-care. I'm gonna take a cold cloth onto my skin and wipe off any cream that I have. Your skin produces less oil before your period and during, so if you have neutrifying ingredients in a sheet mask, this can be a good way to add hydration back into the skin and enhance the look of your skin overall. And since we're all prone to water retention, it's a good idea to do some face massage. I'm gonna use a sheet mask on my hands as well because I've started to focus not only on my manicure, but occasionally using products like this to enhance the quality of the skin on my hands so that my hands get a little extra care that they deserve. One thing that's important if you can't go and get a massage is to massage the tension not only out of your face, but also your neck if you can. It's a little touch like this that helps you feel relieved and calm. Because we spoke about facial symmetry being slightly off during this time, one of my favorite techniques for beauty overall is to add a dark brown hair powder that's meant for this area to the hairline which frames the rest of the features in a way that makes them appear more symmetrical. Add this in in a really direct but blended way so that it looks completely natural and undetectable. 
Serums are thinner in their viscosity, the amount of thickness that the liquid has, and because they're thinner than a cream, they're able to go deeper into the skin. So I add them to the thinner parts of my skin underneath my eyes, and that means that my skin under my eyes actually gets a serious treatment. That can neutrify to prevent against dark circles and make the skin look more even overall. Because oil production is down, a powdery makeup look is gonna look powdery. So I wouldn't go full glam today. The best strategy here, especially when you don't want to feel makeup on your face because you're already feeling kind of weird, it's better to go for something that will add glow like a great sunscreen and some spot concealing where it's needed. This is like a no makeup look because it's the bare minimum when I'm lazy and during this time it's realistic to just fill in the brows and then Rather than finishing up your face, go for the hair because sometimes when you finish your makeup, you don't put any energy into the hair. The hair is everything today. Actually, we're not gonna use a scrunchie and just do a typical bun. We need this bun to give us power and this isn't going to work. So we're gonna do something kind of funny, I'm serious. If you have long hair, do this with a bikini style underwear, but if you have shorter hair, you can use a thong. Make sure that they're clean. Flip your hair over, and I'm using a color that you can see, but of course you can use dark tone or whichever matches your hair. And then tie up your hair in a messy bun. You'll have a lot of extra fabric to be able to make this both floppy, but secure. And that's the advantage of doing this instead of using a scrunchie. It looks super chaotic for about 20 seconds, but then you'll feel the level of volume that you have is so different from your average messy bun and getting that extra volume is going to make you look amazing. So it's worth trying to fix this up until it looks the way you want, pulling down little pieces of your hair on the sides for decoration. This is a beauty strategy designed exactly for this time of the month because you would never be able to get this kind of volume with just a regular twisted messy bun. But we're not done there. There's still more that you can do that's really going to create an atmosphere that is completely brand new from what we had when we started feeling kind of off and not good. Taking a straightener, I'm curling the pieces under for about two to three inches and then I'm curling them outwards. So if you do a ringlet and you just curl in one direction, you don't get that S shape. And that S shape is one of the best strategies you can do when you really want to amp up your beauty. Wait a second, so we just did a little skincare, the bun, and added some eyebrow product. It's so different from what we started with, but it's not that much work. It's so amazing what these little pieces and strategies can do. When you have earrings on, not only do you feel like life is just brighter and juicier, it's also really beautifying. Lactic acid is a skincare ingredient that's really special because not only does it draw moisture to the surface of the skin, but it also resurfaces. So if I apply this today, I won't have chap lips tomorrow. I got these from YesStyle, these really beautiful, completely different lip textures that, I mean, the product themselves is so different. This K-Beauty, J-Beauty, this is incredible for me because it is functional in the way that looks natural. This blends out in a way that is shocking, really. It's like blurring like a lip blush effect. And each of these colors is beautiful, but there's one that really will be supportive in the sense that it looks like a naturally occurring color. It's very tomato red. And because it has a blurring effect, this is going to be the perfect color for a one product face. Blend it out and we'll see what it looks like. This is also a great way to start your whole makeup look. If you do want to take it further, try this as a base and then from here, see what you need. It's important that if you have chapped lips like I do in the right hand corner, let the lactic acid do its job because within 12 hours, it's going to resurface and if you create damage by trying to peel off the skin, it's really going to take a lot longer to resolve. I'm using a lash curler and it's starting to look like I don't even feel bad. And I'm actually noticing that when I do a look like this, I start to feel good. Adding some mascara is important. And if you have little bits of it that clump up, you can just pick them off or comb through them while it's still wet. 
And this look completed with earrings, the bun, the S-curve bangs, and the most simple one product face is going to give you a whole look that is very enchanting and charming, totally opposite of how it felt to start. This takes about four minutes total, and it's really important that you do get up and get dressed and try something that makes you feel like the best version of yourself right now. This is the completed look, and it's only perfect when you top it off with a top that literally brings you joy when you look at it. That's important to get dressed and get up even when you don't feel your best because the levity and the joy you can get from items that make you smile and make you feel confident, it's unparalleled. And all of these things fit that bill. I got some new pieces from Yes Style. Their website is amazing. The shipping takes a little while to get to North America, but it's so worth it because the pieces are affordable and so like unique in their femininity. And I got some things like hoodies and lace tops as well. Some jeans that are really, really high up. So when I'm bloated, they go way higher than the part where it makes your stomach hurt and they're stretchy. They have a good mix of comfortable and beautiful, special and unique, and all of the K-Beauty and J-Beauty brands that you could ever imagine. I love this shrug thing. This is probably my favorite type of item that I got because it just go over your arms when you want some extra coverage, but you don't want to put a whole sweater on. Most importantly, remember to take it easy. During this time, you have to prioritize yourself because you're processing a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, rate this video and add it to a playlist. Click my channel to watch more. I love you.